And we're talking about Josh Rosen, the UCLA quarterback, and wide-ranging interview with Bleacher Report. But if, if I said to you when you were in college at Auburn that you could major in being an athlete, and with that came understanding you take a business class, picking an agent, finances, uh, balancing a checkbook, uh, public speaking, would you have majored in, in being an athlete or majored in basketball if they allowed you to do that? Well, the problem I had with the whole Josh Rosen thing is, number one, he's on top of the food chain, Dan. So he he don't have to worry about getting an education and things like that. See, this is my biggest problem when, I, when these people get on TV talking about amateurism and they're using these kids. You know, the whole system is, is kind of uh, out of whack. But most of these kids going to have to get real jobs. They need an education. Josh Rosen going to be a number one pick. He can just go to class. He can just go there and play football. But what about, see, I always worry about the other 99%, especially the black players. What are these other black players who ain't going to be a number one draft pick, who ain't never going to play a pro sport? You know, one thing I get offended in about the black community is we don't value education. Yeah. Like I say, it's a system flawed. Of course, the system is flawed. But I don't want some rich white kid who's going to be a number one draft pick talking about just we wasting our time. Well, most of those kids aren't wasting those times. Most of those kids need that free education to be successful in life. And he might be a nice kid. But let me tell you something. I don't want any rich white kid telling black kids, no, don't worry about this stuff. Just come here and play football. Those kids ain't got no chance of going to the NFL. Those kids need that education. So even though his point, he got some point, but, man, I don't want any rich white kid who's going to be one, two, or three in the draft. Uh, I saw that list last week telling these young black kids, no, just come here and play football. And then after four years, they ain't got no education, and they ain't never going to step foot in the NFL. I hate that message. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 